I think it enables us to put the, the actual source of the radiation directly in the prostate, much like surgery under direct visualization. And by doing that, you're really keeping the dose of radiation within the prostate and you're limiting dose to the surrounding areas. So with uh, no, the other types of external radiation, uh, whether it be generated with a proton machine or a linear accelerator, no matter how you slice it, it still has to come from the outside in. And by putting sources directly in and by delivering what's called low dose rate, which is continuous low, uh, delivering of dose over you know, a few months, then you're able to deliver the highest dose biologically, which we've shown in a number of equations, into the prostate, but you're still able to keep the rectal and the bladder dose very, very low. So I think that's a key advantage, and I think it's very hard for any other type of external treatments to, to really emulate those unique qualities.